1 a.m. Sunday morning, I got an email with my exam results from the California Wastewater Treatment Plant Operator Grade 5 exam. I'm gonna share those with you shortly. I'm also gonna share away a more thoughtful takeaway than I did Friday. I did a live stream Friday and I gave a hot take of my, you know, my thoughts coming right out of that exam. I've since actually unlisted that video and I'll explain why when I get to that segment of this video. Um, I have a study guide I will endorse that I highly recommend you look at and you, you know bookend to bookend. Um, I, I do think it's worth uh, looking into this study guide. And then the third, the last thing I'm going to talk about is what's next for me and what's next for this channel. Okay. Now, based on the way I'm talking, you probably already figure out that I did pass my grade five exam um, on Friday. And I'm going to go ahead and throw that letter up on the screen right now. And uh, there it is. And you'll see my there's something blacked out. That's my home address. I don't want that on the internet. Um, but you can if you read it, you can see I clearly passed on the 19th. Um, now, um, if you think I'm some wonderful operator that knows everything. It's not the case. I do know my stuff, but I actually was stumped on several questions on this test. And um, I'm going to actually link at the end of this video to a bit, another video I did, which was my top um, test exam taking tips. Um, and there were some questions on this exam that stumped me. And I didn't know the answer, but I deployed my standardized testing, multiple choice test um, strategies. And when I, I bookmarked those in my brain, the ones I was unsure of, and when I got home, I looked them up and I got most of them right because of these exam taking strategies. I had a colleague not too long ago remind me that test taking is a skill, okay? Um, and that, this is gonna kind of segue into my thoughtful take on the exam. So on Friday, I did this live stream and it was a real hot take. Um, I, my adrenaline was probably still rushing and, and all that stuff. And you know, the video quality was crappy. I didn't present it in the most professional way possible. I'm not a very professional person to begin with in terms of like, I'm kind of rough around the edges, say what I think. It was even more so on that. And, um, you know, I thought, I, I do still think I was vague enough where the waterboards wouldn't take issue with the things I was saying. I've been in some trainings that they got a lot more specific than that. And so I, I just, um, but what I don't want is any, uh, sense of impropriety out there, like I'm giving away anything. So I just went ahead and unlisted it and said, you know, I can be vague enough on this video and give a more thoughtful um, response to the grade five and maybe not be shooting from the hip so much and, you know, just kind of saying whatever comes to my mind, which is, you know, something that happens to me. So I got to be a little bit more careful and responsible, especially on uh, something like YouTube. So um, and that I might actually re-upload that video after I've got a chance to edit it. I've, all I've done is unlisted it, so it's not publicly available. It's still on my channel. I might tweak it and cut out some segments and, and whatnot. But um, anyway, um, this is actually going to be a better take on the exam than that video. So in essence... Um, I sat for my exam, I get test anxiety, and by the way, I'm gonna do, this isn't the last video in the series, I'm gonna do another video on study um, fatigue and test anxiety, and if that's something you wanna be notified about when it comes your way, please hit the subscribe button and subscribe to the channel, and if there's, if there's anything in this video moving forward that you get anything out of, please also like um, the video and let me know that this is some content that you're actually appreciating. So, um, as I sat for the exam, I had adrenaline going. I actually don't even remember the first three or four questions. They were kind of a blur, um, but I kind of started setting into a rhythm about test question 10. Now there's 70 questions on this exam. It's about question 10, I got into a rhythm and I actually went back and revisited those uh, questions and um, made sure that I actually read them thoroughly. And that's my biggest takeaway is make sure you're reading these questions super thorough. There's double negatives, not in the actual question, but there's some ways that they actually structure the question and then you get into the different choices and there's double negatives relative to the question being asked. That might be hard for me. I have to be careful. There's confidentiality agreements about these tests. I gotta be very cautious about what I say. But anyways, they kind of contradict each other if you're like reading them straight up. Anyway, to my mind and how I read, that's kind of how it felt. So just be very cautious, move through methodically would be my um, advice. I would actually recommend, this was the same for the four as the five, the grade three was my hardest math test. I have not experienced the difficulty of the grade three math um, on the four and the five. Now this is very California specific guys and gals. So um, if you're in a different state, I can't honestly speak to your um, certification requirements and what your tests are like, but you know, the four and the five, it just really felt like they were more interested in me understanding management um, of, of a plant, not like, you know, disciplining employees and stuff, but like, you know, ma literally the hands-on management of the plant, um, like a 30,000 foot view. And it just was really a lot more, um, 
on the process control and when things aren't working right and like making sure I totally understand the larger organism, even getting out into the collection system, just kind of getting a great broad overview, okay? Um, and so the math, when I got to that, I was like, what? Like I was so prepared for these super complicated, ridiculous math problems. And the very first one, I had to reread several times to make sure I was, am I reading this right? <laughs> this seems like a grade two math problem. So I guess my point is I wouldn't get wrapped around the axle on math prep. Everybody really, if you pass the math, you pass the test. If you pass the math, you pass the test. I'm gonna disagree with you on that, on the four and the five. I actually think your emphasis needs to be on the things that they tell you to study in the expected range of knowledge. And I'll link to that document um, in the description. There's a whole list. Now, everything on that list, um, is, I didn't encounter every single thing on that list, I encount but everything I encountered on my test was on that list, okay? Um, and so, as you can see, I'm, if you watch my live stream on Friday, you can see I'm being incredibly way more vague <laughs> than I was on that, just because I'm, I'm just trying to be uh, conscientious and um, responsible with what I share, okay? Uh, especially on social media form. Now, getting to study guides. What will I recommend you study? and it is the Wastewater Technology Trainers Grades 4 and 5 Study Guide. Now, I had the Viridian, and I had the te Wastewater Technology Trainers. You know, and I think this is another reason I pulled that video down, is we were talking about some stuff in it, and if you watch the channel, if you watch that live stream, you know what I'm talking about. And I feel like I was a little harsh on Eric Wahlberg, not because of any of his information, but because of the... the Anyway, I'm not gonna get into it. <laughs> I'll leave you in suspense as to why I felt like I was a little harsh. The thing about it is, somebody asked me on the chat if I felt like it prepared me for the exam, and it did. And so I wanna just kinda come back and circle back to it. I was, we were really focusing on the practice test in the back of the book, but I really left out all of the great information before that practice test. And there were things in there that clarified really well, like what it was I was trying to actually, uh, my brain works in, it's not enough for me to know just that it happens, it's I need to know the why that it happens. And he broke down some really great um, nuts and bolts information that helped me actually understand the material. And that's a, a huge takeaway. Going into the grade four and five, you cannot take these tests with a broad and shallow understanding. You need a broad and deep, understanding okay you need to understand everything about it so i did this comparison on my um live stream the grades one and two are a, a broad like maybe here and shallow understanding this is kind of an entry level thing and the difficulty is like grade one i'll start here grade one grade two okay now the grade three boom like the difficulty level is exponential it's it's way more complicated than the two and you've broadened out and there's a couple key items that you're deep on okay the grade four and five, so let's say that's the three, the four and five are here, and they're at the same level, okay? So here's the three, here's the four, here's the five. They're kind of the same, all right? And uh, you're now super broad and super deep. You need to have deep understanding of everything. I, I, this is gonna sound like, well, that's not helpful, but you really need to have a true understanding of wastewater treatment if you're going for a higher level exam, and you need to be a skilled test taker. It's not enough that you know as much as you can about wastewater treatment, and guess what? I apparently don't know everything about wastewater treatment because there were some questions on there that I wasn't ready for. I don't deal with them. I, it wasn't process control. I won't get into it, but it was just like, oh, okay. And I do feel like if you're gonna study anything off the material I have seen um, for your four and five, I think you should get the wastewater technology trainer manual at the, at the minimum and just understand book end to book end that manual, okay? So that's my formal, uh, recommendation that you go do that and um, also watch my channel. <laughs> um, so lastly, I'm going to talk about what's next for me. Um, I'm going to restructure how I'm doing my live streams. Coming out of this exam, it gave me a good chance to kind of be thoughtful over the weekend and think what's next for me. Um, I'm going to start um, doing these live streams every month, but the, it's not just going to be a Q&A on it. Oh, I've just been letting you guys come to me with questions. And what I actually am going to do is I'm going to come to you with questions and they're going to be like flashcard style questions. I'm going to have math questions and multiple choice questions. I'm going to maybe work something out live math wise, or I'm going to maybe, well, I'll have a grade one question, a grade two question, a grade three, four, and five, and we'll work, we'll do a like a multiple choice and we'll see the different ways that test questions can be brought to you so that you can um, study and we can do it in live, um, uh, do it live and then you know you can ask questions as we go through and it can be more of a study prep and, a, and an exam prep um, sort of situation. 
And then um, the other thing that's gonna happen on the channel is I'm gonna be slowing down um, my uploads. I, I really wanna focus on quality. Um, I think I've mentioned this in the past. I was, uh, a past live stream actually, somebody actually asked um, how much sleep I was getting. And I was getting like five or six hours and I sleep because of this breakneck speed of uploading. And it's been great, but I'm coming to a point where it's, I'm starting to hit the wall. And uh, I'd like to slow down, pull back. I've got a great library so far started. It's not complete, but um, I'm really excited about completing this, but in a very high quality, um, more thoughtful way. And, uh, and so you're just gonna see a slower upload of videos. But all of my series will still stay. I've got interviews coming. I've got math problems coming, whiteboard lessons coming. Looks like pH and alkalinity will be my next whiteboard um, based off the poll on the channel. If you haven't seen that one, go check it out. I was asking if you wanna talk about ammonia, ammonium equilibrium, pH or alkalinity, or um, SVI. And it, at this point with 27 votes or something like that, um, most people wanna hear about pH and alkalinity. Um, that poll is gonna just be open until I decide to do the lesson here in the next couple weeks. Um, so with that, I hope you got something out of this. Um, if you have any questions, please put it in the comments below um, and we will talk to you guys in the next one. Have a great day, everybody.